I'm Dave Gardy here live on the floor of NAB 2011 at the Las Vegas Convention Center and we're at the booth of Vidovation, one of the sponsors of the Salute the Troops webcast because they've got some tremendous technology. We've pulled everybody away here to get Jim Jaquetta, who is the president and CEO. Thank you for joining us, Jim. Thank you, thank you. Now, I've seen so many things here. Give us an overview of, first of all, the company and then we'll look at some of the individual technologies you're presenting today. Well, uh, Vidovation, uh, we're a newer company. Our, our main focus is video communication. And from the company name, you can see Vid, Vidovation is a concatenation of the words video and innovation. Mm -hmm. And uh, our new technology, uh, uh, we have a standing ovation for our technology. So that's where the name Vidovation comes from. Um, Let's jump jump right into let's some do of the, that. You the, got the, some... New, the new products we have. Okay, let's see what's on the floor because it's attracting a lot of attention here at the show. We, we have a lot of new technology. Uh, one of the big attention getters uh, is this product. Uh, it's a wireless RF link. Uh, it operates at the six, uh, uh, the five point nine gigahertz unlicensed spectrum. What's important about that is uh, the FCC is not going to charge you for using the spectrum, which can be a big deal. Uh, this system will go a couple hundred feet. Uh, it works well in this type of environment where there's a lot of multipath. You know, once you're broadcasting your RF, it bounces off of every wall, every uh, beam in the building, and it gives you a real solid s signal. Uh, you can easily go uh, 100 yards or more with this. Uh, we've partnered with Box TV to bring this product to the United States. Up here we have uh, a similar solution in that it's uh, also a wireless RF solution. Uh, this technology uses the 60 gigahertz spectrum, which is also uh, unlicensed spectrum. So, uh, and, and when I say unlicensed, it's globally unlicensed. So it's not only just the FCC and Uncle Sam. Uh, globally, there's going to be no licensing with this. Uh, key thing, too, is that there's other 60 gig solutions uh, out there, but they use compression. Or This is uncompressed. This is uncompressed. So, so you put uh, 1.5G HDSDI in you're going to get the full signal out. Uh, we have other models available that will do two channels, either two channel simplex or, or a channel in each direction, uh, bi-directionally. What are some of the applications for that? Uh, sports is a great, great application. Uh, we have it on a tripod right here, so you could have this, say, at the 50-yard line, uh, beam the signal up to the press booth, put it on a tripod. Uh, we've also done installations uh, from rooftop to rooftop. So if you don't have right of way to run a fiber or a coax or cable, you can shoot the signal uh, uh, up to a kilometer. Wow. This particular unit does about 250, 300 meters. We have units with a bigger RF horn on it that can go up to uh, one kilometer. It's phenomenal for uncompressed. Go ahead. Um, then right below it here, we have a product uh, uh, called the Stream Cell. And what this is, it's an ENG truck in a box, as we like to call it or it's a, a backhaul video device. Now it's not, you know, we went from uncompressed, now this is a product, you know, it, it's meant for like first responders. So uh, uh, before they, uh, an event happens, it might take 12 hours or several days for an ENG truck or a satellite truck to get to the event. A reporter could have this in his suitcase, it could be anywhere in the world, he could be in, in Cairo, there's uh, uh, civil unrest, take this thing out, you can use a consumer camera or a high-end camera like this, plug and play and broadcast either over satellite, uh, a broadband connection, or cellular. And I say cellular, that's the most important one. Uh, it will use two industry widely available cellular modems uh, for diversity uh, and broadcast uh, uh, a couple hundred kilobit per second signal. Decent quality. That's still very respectable. Uh, um, um, you know, you, you'll see first responders on CNN and Fox, and you know, the, the, the pretty good quality video. But you know, the story gets out. That, that's the, that's the most important thing. And what format is that encoding in? It's uh, MPEG-4, H.264. Okay. okay, cool. Uh, then we have some products from uh, Magenta uh, Video Systems. Uh, they're one of our partners. Uh, what I like about their solutions is that it goes in the open gear. Uh, chassis. It's, it's part of a multi-manufacturer platform uh, where we're encouraged to, to have multiple sources for different technologies. So you need uh, an MPEG encoder from Magenta, it'll plug in here. You need some fiber gear from other companies, it'll plug in here. Um, and we're, we're demoing their, their video gateway as well as some of their, their video encoders. 
So uh, video over IP, video over the network, that's what we have going on here. Um, then, we, then we have some, uh, a, a solution back here from Hotspot. Um, uh, we have, it's not operating right at the moment, but I'll just give you the quick overview. Uh, Hotspot does uh, wireless routers that are specialized for video. Uh, streaming video over wireless or Wi-Fi networks is not so easy. Uh, Wi-Fi is a very chatty protocol. We know. The, the video, <laughs> oh, you, you know from, from uh, we tried your 3G, streaming company. We, we tried yes. 4G now. 4G is a little bit better, but you got to right. hope you got 4G. Right. So what Hotspot has done is they, they've, they've taken control of your uh, standard Wi-Fi network and they, they allow video to stream because it's not set up to have a continuous stream of packets. So that's their specialty. We've partnered with them. Uh, there's military surveillance. Uh, we're bringing the technology to the broadcast market as well. Excellent, what a um, great product. We'll keep going. Um, then we're up here we have some uh, Vidovation products that will uh, do uh, video conversion between different formats, uh, video extension over category cable or CADX cable, keyboard mouse extension, video extension. Um, we have this device here. It will do um, 3G HDSDI conversion to HDMI. Okay. What's nice about this, we're doing it here in the booth. It's expensive to rent or buy broadcast quality monitors. So you take a broadcast signal like 3G HDSDI, convert it to HDMI, and you can display it on a fairly decent consumer monitor or maybe even uh, a, a high-end pro monitor. But once you put that B word in front, broadcast quality monitor, the, the, it's thousands of thousands of dollars. So for, for applications where you want to do some quick demos like we're doing here, HDMI is perfect, and this device lets you do that. Um, then we have um, devices from uh, uh, New Media Technology. They're a British company. We've partnered with them. Uh, they have some new, new solutions um, and, and some established solutions uh, uh, using the Dirac compression standard. Uh, and the Dirac standard was developed by the BBC to avoid some of the uh, royalty and licensing fees associated with JPEG 2000 and MPEG 4. So if you want to archive video, store video, uh, some broadcasters are a little worried about using these other standards because licensing fees, uh, intellectual property litigation might come in. Uh, they have solutions that will take 3G HDSDI, convert it to 1.5G, so a two to one compression. What's great about that is um, a lot of broadcasters, when they rolled out to HD, built the 1.5G infrastructure. Now they need 3G for 1080p, or they need to do 3D. They're like, we haven't finished paying for the conversion to HD. Now we've got to redo our system again now to support 3D? So with these devices, we can take a 3D or a 3G HD SDI signal and put it into your existing 1.5G system. Um, there's also devices that will do 1.5G to 270 for longer haul distribution or if you have a very, very old system that only supports 270 HDSDI. 